When you think of the ocean, what do you think of? I know for sure that I think of fish, anemone, sea life, finding Nemo, but have you ever thought of the ocean as a place for farming or agriculture? I know for sure I hadn't, but that was until I looked into the project Nemo's Garden, started by Sergio Gambarini in 2012. He thought of a new way that we could grow the most, one of the most popular herbs, basil, underwater in a biosphere. This would be super cool because 70% of our earth is covered in water, but 50% of all the habitable land is being used for agriculture. Yes, you heard that right. Half of all the possible land is being used for crops. This is a huge problem because global hunger and population are just gonna keep rising and we don't have enough space to keep up with this trend. But I was so inspired by this project that I decided to make my own underwater farming prototype at home in my fish tank. And that, folks, is the video that you're about to see. Let's get into it. My name is Ashna, I'm a teenager from TKS Toronto, super passionate about the future of food and world hunger, and thank you so much for tuning into my video today. So, building an underwater farming prototype, how do you even approach this? So the first thing I did was visit Nemo's Garden's Kickstarter campaign, which basically was what I created a replica of for the project. And you can find it in the description, but I found this prototype, which is what I wanted to create. So after examining it pretty closely, I realized that the, this um, prototype had some main components that I needed to find versions of. So firstly, it had a weight at the bottom, a clear plastic dome, and a cup with legs for the plant's soil, and three legs. And the cup and the legs were made out of a 3D printer, and it all was just on a sturdy base, also made from the 3D printer. So I don't have a 3D printer, I wish but I found this clear container that was holding melting beads before and this clear lid. And me and my dad came up with the idea to cut the legs of the plant's cup out of the lid. That way it would already be perfectly sized and I wouldn't have to print or create something new. So after cutting out the legs, the prototype dome looked a little bit like this. And I know it's not exactly like Mimo's Garden, but it would do the job. So then my dad helped me DIY these legs out of a shelf. And we screwed them in all together and we had pretty high hopes. But as soon as we submerged it, many problems arose. The first one and most important one being that the gravel in my pre-existing fish tank just wasn't heavy enough to weigh down the whole prototype and the legs were way too bulky and because of this the prototype kept filling up with water. So this was really demoralizing and I dropped this project for a bit but I came back stronger with some next steps. So number one was to figure out how to weigh this prototype down because that was the biggest problem that happened in the first version. Number two would be to actually understand the water pressure, why it was filling up with water and how to submerge it and keep everything dry. Number three was to create actually compact and strong legs because the legs that we had created were just way too bulky and didn't work. And number four would just be to submerge it and hope for the best. With this new plan in mind, I had to go back to the drawing board and create a new version of the prototype. So me and my dad headed to Canadian Tire where we came up with the idea to use a weight plate as our weight. And this was perfect because it was flat, round, and pretty much alike to Nemo's Garden's prototype. So the next thing we had to purchase were legs, so we visited Home Depot and my dad's genius idea was to use drywall corner beads, which are these really long pieces of thin metal that are super easy to work with. They're inexpensive and we knew that we would be able to cut them and make them work for our prototype. So now that we'd acquired the main materials for the prototype, it was time to figure out the water pressure situation and why mine kept filling up with water and Nemo's Garden's Kickstarter was working. And turns out, after a bit of internet searching, that this was pretty simple. 
So I conducted a little experiment on water pressure. So to conduct the experiment, I created my fake environment, which is the a cup filled up with water and I got some tissue just to have a metric of whether it was working or not and I stuck this little chunk of tissue in this sauce container which would basically imitate the prototype. So after sticking it all the way to the bottom, I submerged the sauce container underwater and as you can see as I'm submerging it, it looks like it's filling up with water, but in reality, there is air and water pressure going against each other, creating a vacuum. So now if I lift the container out of the fake ocean, in quotation marks, we can see that the tissue is totally dry, and this was so cool in my opinion. So if I do this whole thing again, and I submerge the sauce container again, what I found was as soon as I tilted the container, as you can see here, bubbles emerged and that was basically just ruining the seal of the vacuum and that was the reason why my prototype was filling up with water because I wasn't submerging it straight down and the vacuum kept on getting disturbed. Okay, so we've basically completed most of the next steps. Now it was just time to put everything together. So the first thing I did was sand off the soil container I was using and the lid because I wanted the glue, the super glue that I was going to use to stick them together to adhere super well. So after a painful amount of sanding, I super glued the soil cup onto the main lid and I stuck the weight plate on top just to strengthen the glue. So then again with my dear dad's help, thank you so much by the way, um, we cut out all the drywall corner beads and screwed them into the main dome. I then also added my soil to the cup that I was using and I added the seeds and just so you all are aware the plant I was going to grow in my prototype was a marigold flower just as a test because this prototype is a lot less technically complicated than the real Nemo's garden. I just wanted to create something tangible with my hands for my project. So we then closed the lid onto the dome my dad screwed in the last leg and here is the real-time footage of us submerging my prototype all right it's recording, it's recording. Honestly, it felt like a baby had been birthed, so I named the plant inside the prototype. His name is Fred, and just to show you all a little bit more of a view, there is an LED light here, which is going to be the plant's light source, which imitates sunlight, and now all I had to do was wait for this little Fred to grow. been a couple of days but I checked I just came home from school I checked and look you see the little green sprout coming up I can't tell you how happy this makes me we will keep track of his progress Woo! hey everyone I just woke up this morning to an actual sprout, like now that is unmistakable. He's growing, I'm getting so excited and I'm gonna keep on tracking the progress of this little guy. So I was super happy with the prototype's progress, but then for March break, I ended up going on vacation to Florida and when I came back, look at Fred and how much he grew. 
This was seriously awesome results, and I was just so overjoyed that the prototype had worked. Hey everyone, it's me, future Ashna, and here I'm wearing the same sweater, funnily enough. Lighting is different, and I got braces. But there was my project, creating an underwater farming prototype replica of Nemo's garden in my fish tank at home using the materials I had. And this was such a fun project. I'm super happy the with the results. But something I did want to pop in here and say is that I know that this prototype isn't very technically deep. I feel like if anyone had had the same resources that I had been able to, they would have been able to create this replica of Nemo's garden. So if you want to learn more about the real structure, I wrote an article about how it works. So you can check it out in the description box below. I'll have it linked and let me know if you have any questions or anything you want to see. I would follow Nemo's garden. Um, they are an awesome project and they've inspired me so much. So check them out too. There'll be links to their stuff in the description as well. A huge thanks to everyone who helped me build this prototype, including my dad and my neighbor for lending me supplies. And yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye everyone.